I want to go back out to our Sophia Ojeda, who is reporting live um, near the scene. Sophia, what can you tell us about what you can see and what you're learning at this point? Hey, yeah, so right now it seems as though a lot of the emergency vehicles are making their way out of that scene there. You can still see a few of them down there, but we just wrapped up the news briefing here and going back to what you guys were talking about, about the um, passengers being able to get out so quickly. That is the one thing that officials here, when they spoke with us, really highlighted. They said it was incredible how quickly they were able to get out because when they arrived, they were all out. They had, at that point, the plane was uh, engulfed in flames. So we had been continuing to listen to the officials speak about this. And the Spanish-speaking official was able to describe it a little bit more. He said that he's not exactly sure what, what exit or where or how, but he believes that the passengers were able to jump out, jump out of the plane to safety. Um, so he did describe that, and we know that it was 18 passengers, three crew members. The youngest was a 10-year-old child. DPS calling it a good day, a miraculous day, that nobody was killed in this plane crash and that at least two people were injured. Um, we asked them why why did it catch fire do they have any idea um at, at, at that point if they could see any any kind of indication and they really couldn't they said that that would be up to the uh tsa um the investigation coming in the next few days as to why it caught fire but the official that was speaking in spanish did describe it a little bit more um, he was able to tell us that he saw the back the back of the plane and the fuselage hey, was next? all on fire um, and we asked how they were able to get to that area so quickly was it a difficult terrain did you have to go through some difficult um, uh, grass or 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 trees and they said that they were lucky there was a dirt road that actually led right up to the crash scene. So they were able to pull in all of the emergency vehicles right away. And then as far as the fire is concerned and the flames, they were able to put those out pretty quickly, they said, um, but not without a lot of effort. They had a lot of foam. They had a lot of water. They had a lot of crews coming in to help put out those massive flames that at one point the black smoke had really been billowing up into the sky here um, from our vantage point. We are at the intersection of Morton Road and FM 20. 855 and we could see it when we arrived and witnesses told me that it was much bigger and much thicker than that when the plane um, the plane had a, a mishap when they were trying to take off and then caught fire here at the Houston Executive Airport but <laughs> officials here um, just calling it a really lucky day. They didn't expect that when they got reports of a plane crash that they would be here to find all of the people on board off the plane already rescued, um, minor, uh, no fatalities, and, and just a few injuries that they could see. Um, so this is the latest here. We were just briefed. Uh, not sure exactly how long emergency crews will be here, but they said, obviously, this investigation is going to continue on for the next several days. Christine, Andy? Yeah, Sophia Ojeda truly is something when we heard those uh, authorities, uh, law enforcement and such, uh, say earlier that this is the best possible outcome that we could have hoped for this morning. Sophia Ojeda reporting live for us in Waller County. Thanks so much. Yeah, we heard several of the authorities say this is the best outcome.